my loves welcome back to cooking with ash today we will be preparing a delish delicious delicious cheese foot or some call it cheese mitai some also say um cheese chicken foot so this have like so many different names guys that it's been called by feel free to stick with whatever you name you know it by and call it that i am just going to go with cheese foot it's very similar to salseo in the sense, but a few different ingredients. So let's get to the ingredients. Um, we have here flour. We have here some split peas flour. I have some of my green seasoning. I'm also adding some salt. We have some pepper sauce here, uh, some mustard, and of course, some sharp cheddar cheese and water to bring this dough together. Um, big shout out to Ethan Grant. Ethan Grant um, is a supporter here on my channel and he requested this recipe. So Ethan, this is for you. Thank you for all your love and support on my channel. Big up to you, my friend, and let's enjoy this recipe together. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm just going to go ahead and incorporate everything together, mix everything in nicely, and we're going to start the kneading process. I'm just mixing everything together guys before i add our cheese and as you can see i have a cup there with a little bit of extra flour in case you know our dough get too sticky and we need to um get it back to the consistency we're looking for a form dough here so you're mixing everything together and we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese And this goes delicious with some mango sour, guys. Um, just as if you're going to be eating um, the salsa, this is exactly how you eat this with some mango sour, or you can eat it as is. So we want to get all the cheese incorporated well in here. And I'm going to gradually start adding our water. And everything I'm using, guys, will be listed in the description box below along with the measurement. As you can see, my dough is a little bit too sticky. I add too much water. So I just add some dry flour to this to, you know, bring it back to the texture I'm looking for. And the food coloring is giving it that beautiful, vibrant color. If you don't have food coloring on hand, you can use some turmeric here too, guys. So I'm going to form this into a dough. And we're going to let this rest and incorporate, um, you know, everything rest and mixed in well for about... 10 to 15 minutes and then we're going to start the second step okay guys this is what our dough is looking like so i am just going to portion this into two um, parts and this is what you're looking for texture wise you know the firmness of the dough i'm just going to portion this in two portions make them into round balls And I'm gonna roll it out the next step to this guys I am going to take it over to my pan that I have heating up and I'm gonna bake it a little bit and then we're gonna start the cutting process so you want to roll it out as you know as if you're making roti not too thick not too thin and this size this thickness is good for me so I'm going to take this over to the pan and we're going to start the baking process. So I have my pan heating up here, guys. This is our um, rolled out dough. I'm just going to add it to the pan and we're looking to lightly bake this. And the purpose in doing that is when we start to cut our um, cheese foot, they don't stick together. It's easier to cut and it's easier to fry that way. So I highly recommend you give this way a try. If you don't want to do it this way, you can just roll your dough out just like as it is here and you can start cutting it and dropping it into your oil to fry it. 
make sure if you're going to do go that route to prepare it you add a lot of flour so it don't stick reason why i like to do it this way too i do not like the excessive flour that you have to put in it when you do it raw like this and when you put it in the oil the oil you know gets a lot of flour to it i find this is an easier and faster way to do it so if you never tried it this way i highly recommend you do so as i mentioned we're looking for it to lightly um, bake on the um, tower here not anything dramatic just lightly bake on the tower we're not looking to overcook it so we're going to go ahead and flip this over guys just as if you're making roti in the sense but you're not looking for this to get too much char or any starter you just lightly want to um, bake it so it's easy to cut lightly bake it so i'm going to go ahead finish this process and then we're going to start cutting up these cheese foot and we're going to start frying them so here you have it guys this is what it's looking like i'm going to go ahead and start doing the cutting so i'm just going to divide this into two you can divide it smaller if you would like and we're going to start cutting it you can cut it as thick as you like as thin as you like you know however you like it so this size i'm doing it You can also use the scissors here if you're not comfortable with the knife you can also use the scissors to cut it you don't have to necessarily use the knife okay guys i find using the knife for me it's faster rather than using the scissors and you want to make sure they're single out like every piece is cut nicely And big shout out to my niece aliana in guyana she loves this guys she calls it peppers that's her name because it's a little spicy she called well for her it's a little spicy she calls it peppers okay so ali if you're watching auntie making this big shout out to you my love now mommy can make you some <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead finish this one up and then we're going to start the frying process guys Okay guys, so we have our oil heating up here nicely and I'm going to go ahead and drop our chicken. Not chicken guys, look at me getting confused here. Drop our cheese foot into the oil. It reminds me so much of um, salsa. You do not want to overcrowd your pan. And we want to fry these, you know, until they achieve a nice golden brown color. That's what you're looking for. And you want to keep your um, oil medium to low. You don't want to crank it up high and have it on high heat and burn up these things. You want them to cook and crisp up really nice. And I usually stand here and constantly, you know, give them a turn or two, flip them. Make sure they don't have any hot spot. One spot is cooked more than one spot. I also have a, um, a pan here lined with paper towels. So when we finish, we're just going to transfer it over there. Any excessive oil that is on it will drip off a little bit. So I'm gonna let, let this um, fry up, achieve the golden brown color. And as I'm going to pull them out, I'm going to come back and show you guys what they're looking like. Okay guys, so these start to achieve the nice rich golden brown color that I was looking for. So I'm going to start um, pulling it out of the oil. You guys hear that beautiful crunch? That is what we're looking for. Crispy and nice. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, fry the second set that I have, and then I'm going to come back and plate this up so you guys can see what our delicious, delicious cheese footer looking like. 
And here you have it, guys, our finished cheese foot. Look at it, guys. It's looking delicious. I know you guys are drooling. So, of course, you know, we have our nice prepared mango sour there with hot pepper. That's how I like to serve mine up. But um, this do not have to be served with um, any sort of sour or anything like that. It's quite delicious on its own. You know, it, it, it holds its own. You know, you don't have to just serve this up with any side sauce. It's that good that you enjoy it as it is. It's so crispy and nice, guys. It's so crispy. Mmm. Hey, that crunch. Mmm. So delicious. And that cheese is coming through so, so beautifully in this recipe. You guys are definitely going to enjoy it. So, Eton Grant, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Thank you for your request. Sending you all my love. And thank you for your support on my channel. I greatly appreciate it. To all my subscribers, I, you guys know I love you guys. Thank you for all your support. If you're new to my channel and if you enjoy this recipe, please do not forget to give me the thumbs up, guys. And before you leave, I hope you consider subscribing. So until next time, see you guys again with another delicious recipe. Thank you for joining me. Love you all. Bye, guys.